Welcome cooks to the recipe vault. Today we're making lemon bars. These come from a handwritten recipe collection that I have. This one's actually was from Wisconsin. Lemon bars were one of my favorite desserts when I was growing up. It has a shortbread crust. It has that lemony like filling and it's sprinkled with uh, confectioner sugar. I love them. We used to make them out of this peanuts cookbook. We're going to see if this recipe, recipe collection can, um, live up to the peanuts cookbook. So welcome to the Amy Learns to Cook Kitchen. So my mom would make us Lucy's Lemon Squares when I was a kid. It came out of the Peanuts cookbook from the 70s. Um, I actually bought a copy of that off of eBay, um, and I tried it, and they were pretty good. I am trying to perfect the lemon bars recipe. So we are working out of our handwritten recipe collection today. We are using this. I will put it up on the website, a link to this recipe. We're going to test this out and see if our recipe vault can give us really good lemon squares, right? So right here I have two, I have two sticks of butter, a, cu a cup of butter. I have two cups of flour. I have a half a cup of powdered sugar that doesn't want to come out all the way. <laughs> And we have some salt. And this is how simple the crust is. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. This is my cordless KitchenAid hand mixer. We recently did a um, test and review of this. And um, I charged it for that and I actually I think I've only used it once since, but this is still the same charge. <laughs> I wonder if this competitor would have stayed charged. <laughs> I could get the competitor out, because it's still on the same charge and see it is still uh, kicking. Okay, I don't want to fling that all over myself. So you don't want to overwork this. You could just use one of those pastry blenders. Um, I'll put a link down below to one of those. But you just want it sort of like this crumbly. So what I did is I took some of this straight olive oil spray and I sprayed this and I put a big uh, sheet pan size parchment paper in here. Um, and and it, that oil will make it stick. I don't think I really need to oil this because there's so much butter in this. Um, what do you think, Eric? It doesn't oh. say that I have to. Oh, no. What the heck? You're using the parchment paper as a sling? Yeah, and so it'll make it easier for me to get it out. So we're just going to get our... Uh, what's funny is it doesn't really say... The recipe doesn't really say what kind of pan to use. It actually says use a sheet pan which I've never seen these made in a sheet pan before. Um, so I make it in in this. So we're just going, this is actually our crust. The butter's gonna melt and bring this crust together. So we just want to even it out and pat it down like this. So are you saying if the filling doesn't fill us up, we'll have to make another batch of filling, and if we have too much filling, then we'll have to find alternate uses for the filling? <laughs> like eating it? Like, like a spoon, maybe? I think I just want to take this cup, because number one, it's getting all over my hands. And this will help even it out. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to put this in the oven for about 15 minutes. We're going to blind bake it, if you will, um, and then I'll let it cool for maybe five minutes to get the heat off of it, and then we'll make the filling. Okay, so here's our crust. It baked for 15 minutes. I don't know if it could have 
baked a little longer. We'll see, right? So let's make the filling. Okay, so we're going to make our filling now in here. Um, it says four beaten eggs. So we have that here. Four beaten eggs. Some flour. We have two cups of sugar. Woo! And it says four tablespoons of real lemon, like the bottled lemon juice. I'm not using that. We made this fresh lemon. We actually did this in the Kenwood. Two, three, four. I want a little extra. Me too. Let me scrape this flower in really quick. Okay, so we have our mixture here. We're gonna go ahead and put the mixture in here. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Are you sure there's enough batter, Boo Boo? We, we can make some more filling. <laughs> he just wants the filling. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna go ahead and push this in the corner here. <laughs> So it will have a little bit of bubble look, foamy look to it because we mixed it. So we're gonna go ahead and put this back in the oven. It's gonna be in there 20 to 25 minutes. We're gonna take it out and we gotta let it cool because we need to sprinkle it with powdered sugar. And if we don't let it cool, then uh, it'll get, it'll just melt it. So uh, when it comes out of the oven, we'll be back. Okay, so it just came out of the oven. It's looking really good. Even if it'll get kind of crackly on the top as it cools, we will be sprinkling of this with powdered sugar and powdered sugar uh, covers all sins, right? So we're gonna go ahead and let this cool and then we'll lift it out of here and we'll uh, proceed with the tasting, right? We'll be back. Okay, so here are the lemon bars. I put them in the oven for about a half hour um and let them brown once you get them out of the oven you have to leave them out and let them completely cool because we're going to be putting some powdered sugar on there and if you don't do that it's just going to melt so while uh this was in the oven we were out sitting outside for maybe two or three hours and in just that time i got a sunburn right hey, for so summer season. is coming right sunburns are coming so be careful guess it's from being inside the winter so much and then the first time out right boom three hours in the sun Dr. Tony Phil did it Dr. Tony <laughs> Phil was right sunburns came six weeks early for you yeah so one piece of advice I can give you for these lemon bars is make sure you're using really high quality parchment paper because I've had this experience in the past where I buy these big sheets the cover sheet pan of pre-cut parchment paper. I get it from my restaurant supply and it has this coolion or something on it that's supposed to be like a silicone or something, but they're great for everyday use. But when you're doing something like this with a, a baked good, if you use that cheap, inexpensive parchment, it will get stuck to the side and you will never get it off, right? You will have paper stuck to the side. This is King Arthur uh, parchment paper. I'll leave a link down here. It has like, it's sprayed with silicone and I've never had a problem with this kind of parchment paper over like my restaurant supply parchment paper. This comes in this uh, sheet pan, half sheet pan size. So get this, it works a lot better for baking. So I'm just going to take this and part, uh, 
This covers all cracks and crevices on here and makes it look oh so beautiful. If you put some powdered sugar over that. And here we go. So I'm going to cut it this way. One, two, three, four. Make them as big as you want, Boo Boo. Yeah, but I never cut it evenly. So if I cut it down the middle, if I cut this in thirds, one, two, and then I'm going to cut it this way. One, two, one. Not all the same size, but it's all good. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Look at this. Mm, those look amazing. They're nice and like, um, Kind of sticky soft in the middle and they have our uh, our sort of shortbread crust those look amazing okay they look pretty good the only difference these are similar to lucy's lemon squares in the peanuts cookbook um i've seen lemon bars where they're made with more of a curd and they have a thicker um lemon part to it um these look pretty good though <laughs> mm -hmm. You want one, Boo? Sure. Thank you, Boo Boo. You're welcome. For all your hard work. Mmm. I think I can snack this. Mm -hmm. It does look pretty good. Mmm. 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 I got news for you, Boo. It tastes, yeah. tastes lemony. These are really good. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to powder sugar all of them in. Mm. Mm. They're really, really puckery, lemon tasting. The crust is really nice. These are delicious. Mm. I'm going to get it all of them in. <coughs> Got powder, powder sugar. sugar. Mm -hmm. Down my throat. Thank you, Recipe Vault. The recipe will be up on my website. Mm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. I can't say that I'm going back outside because look at this, but I am going to enjoy my lemon bar. Thanks for joining us.